You alright everyone, it's Acer here from Romini Custom Catapults. So I've got a bit of a nice build to show you all that I've just finished. It's been a long time, well I say a long time in the making, it should have been finished probably three weeks ago but I've not been very well as I stated in the last video. So this is a TTF Utah Raptor, which is the pinch grip variant of the Raptor range. This is uh, kind of a flagship one, it's full ergonomic web swell palm swell as you can see uh it's a high-end build first of all we've got a little matching bead the, the catapult itself the core to be honest with you the core is good enough to be a singular catapult and i could make good money just out of the core on this it's a five layer laminate core consisting of three layers of carbon fiber and two of neon green g10 i don't know whether you can catch it on this camera but the carbon I've used is different. I've used different types of carbon to get a different effect. The material is green VDI, the last of its kind I've got. In fact, no, I've got a little bit of red. But this is like a neon green. It's different than the turquoise colour I've used before. Really apologise for this camera and the light. It's not the best. It doesn't do this catapult justice. It really has got a cracking shine on it. You can see the palm swell there. It's got carbon in it. Got carbon pins, custom dimensions, 95 mil outer width to the optic, and uh, it's got two different bolt methods: double titanium bolts, as you can see, and it's got the more commonly used ones with a painted rivnut and the cup and the bolt that way. That'll be the one that gets used on this frame. To be honest with you, I've put these ones on purely for photography because I think they look better. To be honest but yeah we've got two clips as well we've got one with an optic one without i couldn't be more happier with it i'm really really happy with it Let's see if we can get uh, a bit of a close-up on the vdi it's a left hand hold build so it sinks in the hand really nice really comfortable if I'm going to be honest I feel that this is more comfortable than the, the Pegasus design that I've got a lot of work's gone into this build but like I say I'm really really happy with it I'm really happy with the fit the finish everything to be fair it's a really nice build. This material also glows in the dark. And I mean it glows in the dark. It's like a torch. Even the I've took pictures of this though with my camera and my phone and none of them do it justice. Very solid quality build. Like I say, I do cores. I do I do raptors built with the same method as the core of this. Five layer laminates, full carbon. I can make like... 250 of those so the core alone in this frame I could I could get 250 for finished I won't go into detail of how much this frames cost because that's between me and the buyer but it wasn't cheap he's got another frame that's very similar to this matching it color wise so that's why he chose these colors and I'm sure he'll be very happy to get it he's a fantastic shot and I look forward to seeing him hit the target with it. I'm not sure if he's going to use it as a main user. I don't know. It's a very fancy build to be using all the time. But that's down to his own self. Cheers all. And thanks for watching. A little quick one of me. As you can see, I've groomed my hair a little bit longer. For those who's on YouTube and not on the Facebook groups, the ESF have got a field course event in Solihull. Uh, it's the third week end in July. So I'm not sure of the dates. Is it around about the 20th, thereabouts? But third weekend in July. You can find more details out on the ESF or you can comment on this video or any of my videos, really. If I, if I get a chance to see them, I will. And I'll sort out directions and where it's going to be. But you've got plenty of notice. Like I say, third weekend in July. It's the best field course or hunting course on the planet. 
those who've shot it will agree. It's only been well, it's been hosted four times and won four times by four fantastic shots. So you've got to be good, the best to, to win it. I would say it's probably the best course or catapult event ever. I've shot like all over Europe, wherever, but it for me. It's the one to win because it shows how good you are over various distances and even ground, different uh, levels of targets, uh, elevated targets, right up in the tree, all sorts. This year's going to be better than last year. Last year was 30 targets. This year I think we're doing 50. So it's going to take you around about three hours to walk around the course. It's like, like equivalent to having a game of golf. You put your scores in at the end, but it's a camping weekend. You can stop Friday night. You can stop Saturday night. And away Sunday, uh, it's going to be a going to be a really really good event. So if you're interested in catapults or you just want to come camp, get involved, we've got other events that go in other than the field course event. It's going to be really really good. It's an event that I host with the ESF, previously the BCA, uh, and it's local to me, Solly Hall, Birmingham. So uh, yeah, if you want to come to it, you're more than welcome. But you'll hear me go on about it a lot more from now to then because as I said, we've got plenty of time. But uh, yeah. There she is. I've got another catapult here as well. Now this catapult is one that I've previously built. Uh, it's a friend of mine who bought it. He's selling it because he wants a new frame which he's bought and paid for. This has been fully refurbished. It's as good as the day it left the workshop. The Celtic Raptor. Custom outer width. It's 100 millimeters out of width to the optic and it's a little bit broader in here for a bigger hand really nice catapult that's for sale if anyone's interested I'm selling it on behalf of him it's nothing to do with me but uh, just drop a comment on this and we'll sort out an email address if you don't have Facebook if you have Facebook it's on there for sale if you don't have Facebook like I say drop me an email or a message and I'll we'll sort it out whatever anyway I'm off down the pub thanks everyone for watching have a shave, have a few beers, enjoy your weekend or cheers.